Hello, and welcome to The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Look how cool this art is. Uh, that's Crystal. I don't know this guy's name. I don't know who this is. This is Rouge. That's Shadow. And Knuckles. Oh. So. Who murdered Sonic? Some happy music. Oh. Hello. Who are you? Phew. I made it to the train 15 minutes ahead of Cedric. So far, so good. My first day on the job. A little, um... What's it called? The hotel kind of outfit where... I get to pick my name? I'll just sign my name here. Oh. Alright. I will. Oh no, I want to capitalize. Thank you. Yeah. Jack, did I spell that right? Yes. Aw, oh, look at me, I'm cute. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Oh, am I on a train? That's so classic murder. Oh, it like, reminds me of Paper Mario. The music is so, so loud. Uh, credits, copyright. Copyright view? Alright, um, what was I doing? I was doing anything in this town. Thank you. Is that better? Uh-oh, I'm nervous. It's my first day on the job, jitters. Being a train dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Jack, shake it off. Slap. Hi. Conductor. Uh. Jack, uh, see you hitting yourself? Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho, ho, ho. Quite all right myself, though feeling a bit, a little bittersweet. So is that because you're a sweetie? What am I hitting on him? Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. The last today, my last day as conductor, retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me in the marriage. Marriage. Marriage Express to say goodbye to another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spengolia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz. I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha <laughs> I can see why his wife is excited. What? Enough my quibbles. Today our first day working the dining car? Here's the menu for today. Menu added to inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I received. I should go over the menus carefully. Okay. Look at it. Chili dog. Ramen. Chicken. Cordero. Blue. Cordero. Blue. Uh, that's all I got in my menu. Why do you look nervous? All we have on the train is microwave. Ah, ha, ha. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which one of these do we serve in the dining car? This? Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu again. Okay. A little about this festival. This is a state of the art high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of ventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Okay. I remember that from the interview. What's the event? Edit? Was there really a event train where you're not? Is what would be the point? It's a moving thing where to go, to go someplace. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. 
Oh, it's a, just a party. I thought someone was really gonna be murdered. Guess, guess we'll be funneled here in the dining cars, the home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets. Oops, I forgot to read the rest. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud. Fuh. Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Ooh, nice. Got like a star. Totally looks like star bomb colors. Oh, there's Amy. She's got a little cake on her head. Wow! This train is incredible! What fascinating tech! Alright, you're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. Oh. What do you. What do you expect? You know, I always go. Out for my birthday party. Oh, it's her birthday? Aw, oh, Rose. This train is elegant, as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take any I won't take anything though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did you not just catch yourself stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny weeny pen? What a cast of characters I'm stuck with. Get a hold of yourself, Jack, you're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, Ugh, of course, sure, or radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? S oh. Sonic, wake up! Wait, Sonic, wait! I announced everyone's role is to get food. Ha, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around the corner to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Jack, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Okay, got it. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. I guess we'll start with Knuckles. Howdy. Could you please get your ticket? Oh, it's crumbled. I think that's a ticket, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good? Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Huh. <laughs> What's this? Napkins? What's sticking out of the napkin holder? I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone like this. Be sure to return this to the rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their tickets as napkins. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Okay. Tails! Tails is pretty cute. Can I get your ticket, young one? And it's in perfect condition. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? Uh, no, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. A sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's the first day. I was a little nervous. Uh, don't be nervous. You're gonna... You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Uh, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Sanic. Take it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have a renowned... Someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Meh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When... When he... When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you could swoop in and eventually you did. I can't offer much, other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you- oh. I promise you an Eklund stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. I don't know this guy. Could we have your ticket? Yes, ESPL? Vispa? Of course. Excellent, thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. What are the comments about him? Something about his presence puts me at ease. Oh, is he psychic? 
You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study nin. I study nin you. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow. Ninjutsu? That sounds a lot like difficult training. Can you cling to walls? Cling to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to misplace my ticket. Could you speak up? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. I'm not hiding his embarrassment very well. Oh ho, actually, we may be able to help you. Check, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? So sad to see a ticket alone. This one? Ah, there it is, my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried he'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh ho, Jack here would have their hands full of kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't have leave without a fight. Ha ha ha. Wait, who made me both microwaves expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I would get over to Amy. Could, could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? He, why certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a true kind broadcast. Maybe we should just leave, leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss, Oh, how fun, thank you. Where do I use this? It's a key with a birthday cake on it? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday get girl gets the birthday key. It's a practical tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. Shadow. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. The stair burr so cold. Jack, you're shivering. Oh. Jack, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, I'm good. Crystal. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much on top of it, I see. Oh, please. Oh, you're not Crystal. Why was I thinking your name was that? A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Does she say princess? Uh, it, oh. If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Separate what? Just here for Emmy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I made him a bit excited. Oh ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Whoosh. Well, hello there, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, man. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let him fetch it for you. Come back, you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak... Th uh, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, was this yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prefer the driver's company for departure. 
Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise. Oh, what? No, I don't. Did you ever th do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And trade? Mrs. Jack, if they need anything help, won't you? Oh, okay. Arm? Ah, that's all I need to hear. You must have my trust. Nothing more help while than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave for one. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is a state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Jack here. If you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. Nah, I like that guy. Thank you for all following the outfit guide I sent to you. You all look amazing. I trust you read all your lore cards as well. Obviously, he's a captain. He's a detective. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivation. So it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters. It wouldn't be much fun for the person who gets murdered. They wouldn't get to do anything. We'll be playing just as soon as required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic. You are the ship's captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the cap oh, naturally that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. So red telling me where they're gonna be. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff. Around these parts, we'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're the business tycoon. And Blaze, you're the titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm. Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Oh, butcher. And Espo, the poet. Both found in the live. Why would the butcher and the poet be in the library? Hear that, Espo? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locks. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. A map. I have a map for each of you. Okay. So this is like, here's the rooms, here's where everybody is. This is the room we're in now, I believe. Okay, this is the end and this is the, the front. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follow. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can, can kill a single per Oh, they get to choose? A single participant, however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect their evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can find. Find clues and interrogate. Also, the timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Oh. oh. I wonder if this is like it's the same one playthrough or if it's like randomly generated. I want to save. Uh, randomly generated that it's different each time. It would be cool. Ah, this is so exciting. Mystery is unfolding right under our noses. That was kind of scary. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Uh, this. 
Same. Uh, isn't this awesome? Shouldn't you two be out mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here. Okay, so it eliminates these two. Are the only ones that can't be. So we're stuck for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. Well, what do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting the stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No. The lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Then how did they... you didn't write them? My backstory is that I was best friends with Flicky, and that I decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman's kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. What? Sorry, so I was best friends with Flicky and decided to join the... Evil Doctor Ring kicks her. Okay. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, that kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. That's not a good sound. The train started moving. That's what trains do. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't! Uh, no! What's happening? Crazy stuff's happening. That's for sure. <gasps> what am I doing in this closet? Uh. Oh, I'm still with Tails and Amy. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. The train can reach such an incredible speed. We're getting our money's worth with the experience, that's for sure. This is actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I recall the morning we wrote this in the interview. Uh, we should go check on the others, Jack. Would you get the door? Of course. It seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, given that fallen shelf is whack with your pico pico hammer uh let's, let's find a, another way out start looking for clues i'll search over here i know amy she's hiding something huh i saw she just wake up before something could have happened listen i i know i'm the detective here but all the best detectives have sidekicks i'm gonna need your help let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then I'll show to Amy and cover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Oh. I need to do everything in your power to make sure Payne gets... Yes, I understood. That wasn't that long ago, man. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flick Oh, that's what it meant. Happy to hear. Now let's get searching. Hi, Amy. You don't look weird at all. What's this? Ah, uh, the wet floor sign keeps people alert and safe. Once I slipped on slippery slip juice, the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is fast, as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid in, into an older man's. Gentleman's shopping cart. Wish just thought it counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, Jack, look at this closely. It's broke. Wonder how the side of this shelf got smashed. There's nothing in this shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on shelf is added to your inventory. I think she already tried smashing it. Oh. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Well, why don't we get out of here? Sure. Normally, I never make microwave meals. I've heard to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Pat. I only had microwave lunches this week. Trash? Something is always hidden in the trash. Let's just hear. 
Sadly, it's empty. But both on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How do I become the awesome heck? Oh, come as awesome mystic as this kid. Um, I think that's all I can click on. Sorry, it's Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we can find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. Talk. Oh. That's the same thing. Okay. Start interrogation. Hmm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a bit more first? Fine. Gotta be another way out of here. What? What is it that I can click on? I didn't see anything. that I can look look at this hmm oh what's this a rod the tip is oh she broke it the tip is broken it looks to really be attached to something I'm not sure it's related to our mystery but it's spinning it around so we'll keep it it's her hammer it's her hammer. She broke it. All right. Amy. We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy. I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done at that time? Microwave the chili dog. Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting here idly while Jack and I were not down. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or let me search for a way out. Do you have evidence to prove that? I... Let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must find our argument to fight back. It's... It's Phoenix Wright. All right, let's do it. What proves I'm trying to escape? This. This one. I'm not quite sure this convinced Amy. Let's try it and try. Good attempt to leave it. Oh, you want me to go this first? What? Some damage on a shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, what now, Tails? Well, we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to you? Well, you see, uh, I guess something like this to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting things, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. Well, what would Sonic do? And find an argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and come back. What would like, Sonic would do? Think! Wow. Stream gear? What? No! Not... Suddenly it's not a click game. Oh man. What would Sonic do? <laughs> he would collect all... Oops! I did Huh? Yeah. Boy. Suddenly it's Sonic. I only need a 20. What's that light bulb? Okay. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around the f for the shelf to fall into. Tell me on this train that we kept that the damage was before we before he arrived. Huh? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with then? Your hammer. What is that? A stick? Truly believe really a stick would do this kind of damage? Think! Think! I think! Boing! Oops. Oh. Oh no. Aw. Well, if I look at closely, you see, I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. 
Let's refill that train of thought again, shall we? Oh man, my mic's in the way. Oh, it's randomly generated too. Boing. Oh, oh. Oh, it did the exact same thing, it didn't jump. Okay, stop. I'm trying to look at him where he is and not forward of what's gonna happen. Ah, I did it again! Ah. Too hard to look at, apparently. Okay. Spring pads. Okay, there we go. That's what Sonic would do. He would he would get all the the circles, the rings. Oh wow. Woo. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to a shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could like say a hammer? Back! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle from your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. So as you both said, I tried to get all of us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I feared it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected to hear... Oh. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective. And I dabble in mechanics. Let's... We see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, you hit the shelf right here. It should do the trick. All, all right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job. Great job, baby. Let's get out of here. They're cute. Oh, no. Nobody else is here. It's... Let's... Uh, I'm gonna leave this one here. So far, I think this game is really cool. But, like, the characters and the art and everything is really cool. And I'm, I am gonna continue this. Um, thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.